Hi everybody, I'm Brian Barnhart in Champaign and this is the Fighting Illini basketball preview for 2016 and 17. Great to have you with us today. And on today's show, we're going to visit with Illini head basketball coach John Gross as we get ready for the upcoming season. Also going to sit down with two of the senior leaders. Of course, uh, Tracy Abrams is back after a couple of years with injuries. We'll visit with Tracy and also Malcolm Hill, uh, the senior potential All Big Ten candidate, first team member, maybe player of the year in the conference. We'll see before the year is out. All that is coming up. We'll also take a look at exhibition action as Illinois starts the 2016-17 basketball season at the newly renovated State Farm Center in Champaign. All that coming up on the Fighting Illini Basketball Preview. Welcome back everybody to the State Farm Center. I'm Brian Barnhart with head coach John Gross as we start the 16-17 basketball season for the Fighting Illini. Year number five for Coach Gross and his staff already, which is hard to believe. And I know you've got a team, uh, you and I have talked a little bit. It's an old team, not necessarily experienced though playing together. It's unique because here we have this team that has all these older guys, uh, you know, a couple 25 year olds, but some of the guys have not played together. That's why this preseason, Brian, has been so important to us. The exhibition games will be extremely valuable because uh, each day that goes by, I think we get closer and closer to synchronization. Tell me about how practice has gone as you've started out this year. We've uh, practiced well for the most part. Our guys have really uh, uh, taken a lot of pride in holding themselves to a very high standard every day. And we don't hit that standard. It's my job to tell them. Uh, push them through thresholds, uh, get them to places that, uh, you know, they might not be able to get to on their own, and, and uh, we've done that. And uh, the reason we're allowed to do that, I think, is because our guys are so coachable, you know, so they allow us to hold them accountable uh, to the standards that we have in place that really they want because they want to do something special together. In order to do that, you have to be consistent. What's unique about this Illinois team this year, as you know, Coach, is the sixth-year guys, two sixth-year guys on the team, and then four other seniors on top of that. Makes it really unique. You know, we have a senior meeting each week. I really enjoy that. Their experiences are, are uh, when you put them all together, the number of games they've played, uh, what they've been through, you know, uh, both both good and trying to fight through situations that maybe where you had to grind a little bit uh, and be positive and and and, uh, and stay above all, all all of it. So they've they've learned a lot. Um, their experiences and their comments and their thoughts are very unique and, and and very profound. I enjoy the group of six seniors. I enjoy obviously our team, uh, but the leadership that those guys provide and and uh, everything they've been through, uh, both the plus and the minus, uh, is really good for our team. Let's talk about kind of positions real quick. Guards, point guards, with the, with Jalen and, of course, uh, Tijon, the freshman, and then Tracy being back. Yeah, we're very fortunate. It's the first time in our five years, uh, Brian, where we have three guys. Two of them, obviously, very seasoned. And then Tijon, who's very talented, uh, a young guy that has a lot of toughness and really can see the floor. He's a terrific passer. He's learning very quickly. You know, he didn't get a start with us until October the 3rd. He missed summer and fall coming off the injury that he had in high school. And, you know, I've been really impressed with uh, his accelerated improvement here throughout the month. Shooting and wings led by Malcolm Hill, a candidate for uh, all Big Ten player on that first team, but maybe player of the year eventually. But, wow, what uh, what depth you've got at the wing and guard, shooting guard spot. We do. Obviously, Malcolm, Jalen Coleman, Lands, AJ, Tracy can play there a little bit. DJ, Alex Austin gained valuable experience last year, playing a lot of quality minutes for us. Uh, so we do. We have we have a lot of depth there at wing and really have depth at, at all the positions when healthy. And your centers, of course, Maverick Morgan, Mike Thorne. But yeah, no question. You've got two older guys there. You know, obviously Mab, a senior, uh, has been with us really from the jump in our first recruiting class. And then you've got Mike Thorne, who's a sixth-year guy. And uh, both of those guys give us some real depth at that position. All right, let's take a look at the non-conference season now as you start the exhibition games early and then some opponents. And you've got some big-name opponents. You're going to be playing in New York and playing the, the Missouri game. Uh, BYU in Chicago? No question. It's going to challenge us, and that's one of the things that we try to do with that non-conference schedule is challenge ourselves, make sure that it prepares us for Big Ten play. We've got a lot of great opportunities, both home, away, neutral. 
Um, and obviously we get a chance to play at home uh, this year to start off the season, which is a big deal. And we just want to continue to max out every day and to keep getting better. You know, the preseason in my mind doesn't officially end until we tip against SEMO on November 11th. So we still have uh, some time to finish this thing out the right way and continue to get synchronized, as I mentioned earlier. And obviously coaches don't really have a say as to what the Big Ten schedule is. You go with what you've got, but we start right away at Maryland and then Ohio State on the 1st of January. It gets going quickly, obviously, right after Christmas for us. and, and uh, you know, I like the balance of our schedule. You know, we really uh, don't go on the road back-to-back. Uh, -back. We have a couple uh, two-game home stint, uh, stands uh, because we're bookended with the at Maryland game, and then our final game, game 18, is also on the road. So I like the flow of it. I think it's going to be good for us. But at the end of the day, Brian, as you know, I have very little control over that. Right. You know, we got to play the game that's in front of us. Well, it helps to have older guys, though, when you get into conference play, I would think. Uh, it's got to be a key. I know we had a team several years ago that was older that won the Big Ten Conference in the late 90s wasn't necessarily was overlooked I think by a lot of people that is the kind of team I think you could have this year in conference play. No question especially if we can get some type of consistency on the defensive end obviously we've got to get our defense back I've said that over and over you know we've got to get it back to where it was the first three years here uh, last year we were just too porous I mean we've got to do a much better job of stopping people consistently our guys are aware of that we're working very diligently uh, to put ourselves in position to do that here this season. Recruiting is a 24-7 deal. Obviously, that's going to continue. And as you continue to build depth and stability, you've got a great new renovated building to sell as well, great academics. Talk about recruiting and what you're looking for there as we go forward. Sure. Well, obviously, it's a big class for us. You mentioned the six seniors we have now. You know, obviously, making sure that we bring in talented people and talented players when those guys leave. And without mentioning specific names, you know, due to the NCAA rules, you know, we feel really good about the start that we've gotten in recruiting. We still have one or two more that we uh, we hope to add, um, you know, to that class because it's an important class for us, being that we're losing six guys. Yep, the renovation of the stadium's going very well. Uh, that's going to be fun to play in the State Farm Center. Oh, no question. It looks terrific. You know, one of the goals was to create a great atmosphere in here with, uh, with, uh, with all the different changes that we've made. It's a great home court. The changes have certainly made it one of the best facilities in all college basketball. Coach, we're looking forward to it. Good luck this year. Thank you, Brian. All right. Head Coach John Gross here from the State Farm Center in Champaign. Coming up next on the Fighting Illini Basketball Preview, a visit with Tracy Abrams and Malcolm Hill, two of the seniors on this year's Illini Basketball Team. Some breaking news here. Tracy Abrams will be out for the season with a torn ACL. Torn left Achilles tendon. He is out for the season. Of course, this is the second straight season that Tracy Abrams has missed. I've gone through a lot in terms of mentally, physically. The first one kind of coped me for, for the second one. I kind of knew what I had to do. It was just all about me being mentally strong and, you know, putting the time and work into it. My teammates did a great job, you know, with uh, helping me understand the big picture of, you know, just Feel, feel blessed where I'm at and, you know, just put in the time and work and I can get back to wherever I want to be. You know, I appreciate my journey. And, um, I've learned a lot from it. The trainers and our strength coach have done an awesome job with um, rehabbing him and um, I'm really excited for him. Tracy's seen me grow since I was um, 17 when I first got here. He's seen all my struggles and he's seen all my successes. I mean, he was awesome to me when we were both on the court together and when he was on the sideline. Um, and he knows me probably better than anybody on the team. He was always there coaching me, you know, making sure you know I had the right mindset, staying positive. And now that we can both play together again on the court and we're both better players and better leaders, you know. Excited for it. Oh, it's been great just watching him develop, continuously work on his game um, in different areas, and uh, you know, just continue to make personal goals. And um, I think he's done a great job, you know, being a team guy as well as, you know, being a great player. There's no ceiling for us. We can be 
as good as, as as good as anybody in the country. We totally understand that, but we also understand, you know, we got to do what's necessary to to be in that position. I think we have the necessary pieces to be as good as we want to be, and once we get it all put together and figured out, I think that's when that's when we'll show how good of a team we can be. Let's go! Coming up next on the Fighting Illini Basketball Preview, we try to keep up with the always energetic head man of the Illini Basketball Program, Coach John Gross. That's next on the Illini Basketball Preview. All four of one for all. One, two, three. Finish. Here we go. Fletch has got you. Let's roll. It's about time we got some good music around here, Hill. Tijon, you never even heard this song before, have you? No way. Really? <laughs> Fish, you even know who this band is? Do you even know who this band is? Oh, man. Fish knew. Fish knew. Tough a great day, man. Everybody play with enthusiasm. Let's go. You guys have got offensive fouls yesterday for the ing, ing. Quit doing that. Don't do that. I want to come right here and I want to go here. You need to sprint through like it's Usain Bolt. If I catch it here and I hit the shape up, I am sprinting to the other side. Shot, nut, yeah. Okay, all right. T, what you did was good, but I want you to work the catch it, see, and then sprint through. Kipper, use Finky and Black for motor. Play with their mode and you'll be in great shape, big dog. First three steps, good fake. Nice pass. Way to run, Kipper, I love it, man. Everyday motor, Kip, everyday motor. Help yourself, I know you know the play's not coming to you technically, but you jogged from here, it took you all day to get to that corner. I'd rather you start right here, like here, here. Shoo! Everybody won the ball so bad, they're like a ball magnet, running to it. Spacing, spacing. It's a good look for you. I'm tired of this swag nickname anyway. You need like, what I say to the nickname? Huh? Nasty, instead of swaggy. J. Cole's coming through, I'm right here. I got your window, J. Cole, I got your window. And as soon as J. Cole passes with the guy, I'm going, boom. Now look where I'm at. Now I'm not letting him get the post touch. So I open the window, and then when J. Cole and the cutter he's guarding clear you, then I close the window. Does that make sense? Okay, all right, here we go. Off swag, orange ball. Swag, good effort. What's up, fellas? You have a good day today at school? Yeah. Did you learn anything? Oh, yeah. All A's and B's? What's up, C? You know, what are you doing today to help somebody else have a good day? Who are you impacting today? Leadership, if you're a good leader, it's really about serving and sacrificing. Bring it in. All right, Ty, you got it. Hawks on three. One, One two, three. Hawks. Hawks. All right, let's see what we got here. Here we go. Good pass. Good start. Become a better shooter. There you go. Groove that shot, man. Groove that shot. Step in. at a baby. Good. And as soon as it comes at you right here, it's, you got to be ready to shoot it. If you go like this, then you're not going to get it off in the game. Get down lower. You stand up and down too much. No wonder. My grandmother in her 70s cut harder than some of you guys. Anytime. You look over your right shoulder. Tell me what you see right now. No, that's your left shoulder. If you get to this screen and you come off this screen and Charlie's like, oh, snap, and he comes to run in, then you just pitch it right there and he's going to shoot it in. Good screen. Driving it. Good tie. Good. Make sure that uh, you play together, right? We play hard. We play smart. One, two, three, Hawks. Hawks.
Coming up next on the Fighting Illini Basketball Preview, a look at the renovation of the State Farm Center in Champaign. It looks terrific. You'll get a look at that next as we continue in a moment. Coming up next on the Fighting Illini Basketball Preview, the Fighting Illini men hit the court in exhibition play. We'll take a look at that coming up next. Stay tuned. And this season is underway, and the tap is won by Washington U. Here they come on the break. Right wing Malcolm Hill feeds the post inside Maverick Morgan. Mav right of the lane inside, up with a hand, up and good. And Maverick Morgan puts Illinois on the board. Here is Coleman lands inside the lane, bounce pass to Hill. Tough shot from 10 along the baseline, count, and it's good. Out top to Finky, right wing Jalen Tate, good feet inside. Morgan with a bank shot up and good. Rebound to Illinois, tied at 9, 12 17 for the half. Finky shoots a three and got it from the top of the key. Illinois on the offensive end, 8 20 for the half. Thorne, baby hook. Right of the lane, good. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Right to left, Tate. Down the lane, kicks left wing. Tracy for three, got it. Three there we go, a little rhythm for the offense. And Abrams buries the three. Free throw up and good. 32-28 is the Illinois lead. Here's a pass to Williams along the baseline. Drives in right side. Nobody cut him off. And he lays it in. Williams with his first two. Between the circles. Top of the key to Meyer. Feet inside, threw it away. Lucas steps in right in front of the pass. Whips a pass ahead to Abrams, who's in. Bounce pass behind to DJ Williams, who lays it in. 13 to shoot, threw it away. Tracy picks off the pass in the lane, headed on the break. One on two, Jordan to the basket, lays it up and in. On the right wing, here is Malcolm Hill. Back to Tracy. Abrams into the paint area, head fake. Pass across the lane to Finky, who slams it in. Inside by Washington U. Fast break the other way, Illinois to the basket, layup, good for Aaron Jordan. Jordan. Top of the key, Bregman, Jordan reaches in, stole the ball. Another turnover, fast break, Hill to Finky for the flush. 
Abrams finds Coleman Lands on the left wing. Coleman Lands driving in in traffic. Shot up and good. Loose ball comes to Coleman Lands who hands to Finky underneath the thorn on the bounce. Layup good. Beautiful oh, thorn. Beautiful play. Lucas, Coleman lands behind the back pass to Finky, and Finky trying to throw it to Lucas, had it deflected, gets it back. Finky with a great feed from out top. Lucas trying to shake him, gets a pick from Morgan, rolls right, bounce pass inside. And Morgan put it up and in. Lucas to Morgan, pretty play. Lucera with five, shoots a three with three, and missed it. Rebound inside, fought for it, tipped up and in. Smelter with a tip in to end the ball game, but the Illini do win it 82 to 75.